In today's video, we're going to have a look at using the Service Stack Blazor components library that's been updated for .NET 8, and how these components enable rapid development of custom UIs that seamlessly integrate with your auto query services. If you're looking at starting a new line of business application project using Microsoft's Blazor technology, Sir Stack has a Blazor template that provides a starting point to rapidly iterate on your applications with generated UIs and auto query services. By using the built-in low-code web application, the low-code app generates a web interface that integrates directly with your auto query API so that you can ship a functional system quickly and collect feedback as soon as possible. Today, we'll walk through how you can use these different technologies to iteratively create your next line of business application. We will start with the Service Stack Blazor template, model your database with a code-first approach, quickly turn these models into auto-query CRUD services to manage your data via services, instantly test and get feedback on your application using the generated low-code UIs, and finally move to a fully custom Blazor UI that reuses those same auto-query services. This approach maximizes the reuse of your efforts so you can always have a working application you can iterate and improve on over time. To create a new Blazor project, we're going to use the servicestack.net x tool and the command x new blazor space my app. This command will create a new Blazor for .NET 8 project and initialize it with an example SQLite database, along with some simple examples, including a to-do and bookings page. If we navigate to forward slash low code, we can have a look at the bookings auto query services that are available here as a fully functional CRUD application. Low code enables these generated web interfaces for any of your auto query services, which themselves can run with a minimal amount of code directly from an existing database, for example. This approach gets you up and running quickly, enabling the ability to manage and explore your data with well-defined web services. Customizations can be made to both the auto query services themselves using a code first approach with C -sharp attributes as well as via custom HTML modules with view components. The c -sharp attributes can not only format the data presented in the low-code application with attributes like international date time and currency, but also enhance how the auto-generated forms can interact with other models. For example, on the bookings model we have a coupon ID column, and we're using the ref attribute to relate it with the coupon model. This not only lets us navigate between related bookings and coupons, but also enhances the generated forms so we can relate the two when we're updating or creating new bookings. However, these customizations are constrained to what fits within the low-code web application itself. For user-facing UIs, low-code customizations might not be appropriate or flexible enough depending on your requirements, which is where the Service Stack Blazor Components Library can help migrate your low-code UIs into a fully custom Blazor page very quickly. For example, if we open up the blazor-gallery.servicestack.net website, we will see a components gallery which includes the auto query grid component. Just like we saw in the low-code UI, we get an interactive grid with filtering, sorting, column selection, and more straight from our auto query service with minimal effort. Comparing this Blazor page to the low-code bookings table, we have all the same functionality. This is because we are using the auto query grid component which integrates with the auto query service and the metadata about your service stack application. We also get type safety when configuring the auto query grid component in our Blazor page because our bookings query services are code first and Blazor lets us use C -sharp everywhere, allowing us to quickly configure the use of this component to get full create, read, update, and delete functionality just by referencing the related request DTO types directly. 
This can be used to also limit the functionality of the auto query grid component to be read only, for example. We can reference just the query bookings request DTO or mix just the operations we want and the behavior of the auto query grid component will act accordingly. By default, the auto query grid component displays all the public properties on the related C -sharp model, which are presented as columns in the grid. We can customize how these columns are displayed by declaring custom column definitions within the auto query grid component. For example, if we wanted to control which columns were visible in the grid, we can declare a columns child element and only specify the columns we want using the field attribute with a lambda expression. These custom column definitions are also where we can customize the CSS of a column using the standard class attribute or use the format attribute to customize how the data is presented. With all our columns declared, we can also use a customized responsive setup by using the visible from attribute with the breakpoint enum. This means we can prioritize which columns we want to show for phones, tablets, and other screen sizes easily in each column definition itself. Further still, we can declare a header within a column to control how the column heading is presented. This can be useful for shortening or formatting a column name for users with small screens to better maximize the use of the limited screen real estate. A full example of these customizations is available in the template under Components Pages Secure in the bookings.razor file. If you want to present data from a non-auto query service, but still want a lot of the same functionality for your data, the data grid component can be used just as easily. The data grid component has a lot of the same customization functionality, but it's ideal for use with any service where you manage the data yourself. For example, we can have a list of weather forecasts we fetch ourselves from a web service and store on a page as a variable. We can then reference this variable using the items attribute on the data grid component, applying the same types of customizations as we saw on the auto query grid component component for custom columns. Another component that can save a lot of time is the use of auto form components. As the name suggests, these forms will be automatically created using your service stack applications metadata and a specific request DTO. For example, here we have a new page where we want a user to create a new booking. We just use the auto create form component, specify the model type booking, where booking is a class that represents a table in our database, along with the type of create booking for the API type, where create booking is a class that's our request DTO for our service stack service. And we instantly have a great looking tailwind form wired up to our API. To show this works with any service stack service, we can switch this from booking to use to do and the create to do type for the API. Save our changes and our form is hot reloaded, showing the new form to create a to do item. We can then provide some to do text, click save and navigate to the sample to do page to see our new to do item has been added. This is because this is automatically wired to our create to do API. And just by referencing the request DTOs, you can do the same for edits by using the auto edit form component, which works in a similar way, specifying the model and the API type, but as well as an instance of the model in the edit attribute. This way we get a full working edit form with an optional delete operation working in seconds. And these auto form components are used by the auto query grid component as well and handle complex inputs like file upload, like we can see here on the contact metadata example on the Blazor gallery. This in turn uses individual components you can also use yourself since the file input component works with any other service with the configured input attribute and the configured file uploads feature for your service stack app host. And some of these annotations related to your auto query services work in the same way for our low code applications. So we can progressively enhance a low code application for prototyping to get feedback and migrate it to use Blazor components like auto query grid and have the same basic functionality ready for customization. 
So now we have a good idea of the different parts we can use in this workflow. We have the service deck blazer for .NET 8 template that gets us started quickly with all these different parts. We then have our database for which we can model tables using a code first approach. And these code first tables can then be used to create auto query CRUD services that can manage our data using web services. These web services are automatically integrated into the built-in low-code UI so we can iterate and get feedback on our application quickly. Using those same auto query services, we can then create our custom Blazor UI. For a more concrete example, here is an example application we've created called Talent Blazor. It uses Blazor Server for .NET 8 and is built off the Blazor template that we've used previously. So we have Tailwind styling the application and authentication is taken care of thanks to ASP.NET Core Identity. Talent Blazor is an example application handling the end-to-end -end recruitment process. So let's say this is an application you manage and you've gotten some feedback that this application needs a dedicated admin UI for managing data. Just like our previous example, starting from the Blazor template, we can use the same workflow. Here, we already have the databases modeled in a code first manner. So we could use the built-in low code UI to initially provide functionality for our users and streamline it from there, collecting feedback about the specific requirements and how to improve the process. The first improvement would be to bring this functionality into the main application using the Service Stack Blazor components. So we create a basic entry point for our admin functionality, and then we create new pages specific for managing data on specific tables. And each page would just be a single component of the auto query grid. For example, we can add the job and job application tables as the first parts of our custom admin UI. We can then get feedback straight away about what columns are important and ones that are less so. So we can optimize it for smaller screens or optimize the workflow for specific use cases or common tasks. Thanks to Service Stack Blazor components and built-in functionality like auto query and low code, we have the ability to ship our functionality early and quickly to get critical feedback to improve our system. If you want to learn more about the Blazor functionality in the Service Stack framework, check out servicestack.net forward slash Blazor. Well, that's it for this video. If you have any suggestions or feedback about the Service Stack Blazor components, let us know in the comments or join us on our community Discord or GitHub discussions. Service Stack is free for individuals and open source projects, so anyone is welcome. And as always, thanks for watching.